Hi again everyone, Jeff Pirashad here. Thanks for joining me for another bowling ball review video. Today we're going to take a look at the Motive Tank Blitz. The Tank Blitz has an RG of 2.48 and a differential of 0 0.034. The cover stock is the Friction Microcell Polymer, and we'll get to that in a second. The core is the gear core that was used on the Venom Shock. Obviously a very successful ball. My test ball, as you can see here, is laid out 65 by 4 by 25, which puts the pin about 2 inches above the ring finger. So, Microcell Polymer is the cover stock that was originally used on the Covert Tank in the early summer of 2019. It's not urethane, and it's not resin, it's something totally new. Uh, the idea is to give a kind of a urethane smoothness, but without the fade in the back that and the dyeing that urethane gives you. So you still get that early hook, the smoothness and the predictability, but you get a lot more hitting power. This version of the microcell polymer is way stronger than what was on the covert tank. Uh, so that means that where the covert tank was appropriate for dryer lanes, uh, this one's going to be able to handle more oil. So what does it mean for this ball? So obviously, as I just said, it can handle more oil in the covert tank. I used to use the covert tank on shorter patterns or I could play right with it on over under house shots and it smoothed it out and made it uh, very predictable and it kind of even the, uh, the transition from the oil to the dry out a lot. The tank blitz is better suited for kind of medium uh, length fresh patterns instead of the super short ones. You could change the cover, you could shine it up and uh, it would probably be just fine on shorter patterns, but this one is more ideal on medium and maybe a little more than oil than that. Uh, you could also use it on house shots and loop the ball a lot. Um, because it smooths out the oil uh, to the dry, uh, you're able to get a lot more predictability. Uh, it also is able to uh, give you some mistake room. As you can see here, there's a lot of shots where I'm just completely awful this day. Miss left, miss right, miss too fast, too slow. But the ball really keeps the line really well um, and it is able to make up for a lot of the mistakes you make without overdoing it. It won't overhook on the dry. It won't hydroplane in the oil. Um, it's a really good benchmark ball when you need a kind of an early hook. Uh, second, the core is a little weaker than what was in the covert tank. So it lets you, you uh, not get the ball to roll too early because it flares a little less. And we all know the Venom Shock core was just money. Um, so that makes the Blitz a good one-two punch with the Venom Shock. They have the same core. So here's the comparisons to the Rogue Assassin. You can see that the Rogue Assassin is just much flippier, but it's also a little more sensitive to the oil because it's a reactive resin ball. Uh, so it'll give you more entry angle in the back and you'll be able to get the pins to do a lot more different things, obviously. But sometimes it'll overhook when it hits the dryer, it might hydroplane in the oil, maybe it won't get there. So it's a different kind of look on the back end. It's the shape that you're looking for. Uh, when do you want the ball to hook and what shape do you want it to make? Here's the comparison to the covert tank, and obviously it's it's pretty evident that uh, the covert tank just doesn't have the strength that the tank blitz have. I have moved, a, I had to move a ton right uh, to get the covert to get up and uh, to get to the pocket. So uh, the tank blitz, uh, you can see I'm maybe what an hour, hour and a half further left with the blitz than I am with the covert tank. So it gives you a couple of options. This is a, a really good ball for sport patterns when they're hooking a lot in the back. And you just need to play maybe play defense for two games. Uh, this is the kind of ball that's going to help you out there. Also, if your league patterns are really wacky over under, uh, this is something that's going to help you a lot because you can just send it to the dry. It'll stay there for a second or two. It won't just shoot off of it and you'll be able to get the predictability that you want. So as usual, thank you to Motive Bowling. Also, thank you, Carlos Tabone at the Kegel Connection Pro Shop in Fort Lauderdale. And... I guess we will see you next time, and that next time is going to be pretty soon because we've got a couple of uh, good releases, uh, more to talk about. Uh, so we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.